Welcome to the world of structural mechanics. In the animated tutorials on this CD, you will receive an introduction on how to increase engineering efficiency by simulating the structural mechanics of your applications. The basic types of analysis used in solving structural mechanics problems are shown here. Static analysis is used when loads and constraints are at equilibrium. Dynamic analysis simulates time-dependent problems. Linear analysis is applied when material properties are linear elastic. Nonlinear analysis includes the simulation of material nonlinearities, large deformations, and contact. Specialized elements, such as beams, shells, and trusses, make simulating structures like buildings and bridges computationally efficient. Fatigue analysis provides information on whether components and structures can endure load cycles over the lifetime of their operation. To complete the picture, there is the centerpiece of the puzzle, multi-physics. Structural mechanics isn't isolated in your designs. You have to consider all relevant physical phenomena and how they interact to build a realistic model. For example, how does heat transfer influence the stresses on your structure? A multi-physics simulation answers that question. The examples in the following tutorials will illustrate how these types of analysis are being applied. The field of structural mechanics provides the theory and methods necessary for the study of deformation, stresses, vibrations, and stability of structures. These can exist in many different applications and on structures or components of all scales. For example, on the micro scale, engineers or scientists may want to analyze the mechanics of living cells or design MEMS devices. On larger scales, automotive parts or even buildings and bridges require structural analyses. On even larger scales, geologists model the deformation and movement of soil layers and tectonic plates. Yet irrespective of the applications and their scales, many of the same tools and theories in structural mechanics can be used for these analyses. Simulating structural mechanics using finite element analysis, or FEA, involves discretization of geometries into a series of small elements. For example, with solid elements, which can deform in all directions, you can easily discretize any 3D geometry. For slender structures, beam and truss elements are used, as they easily support model deformations in the axial directions, and yet are computationally less expensive. Similarly, plate and shell elements are mathematically designed to take advantage of the behavior of thin structures to simplify In the initial stages of deformation, many materials exhibit a linear relationship between stress and strain. Furthermore, an accepted assumption is that most materials have the same stiffness properties in all directions. Thus, the material is said to be linear elastic as well as isotropic. However, many materials exhibit some type of anisotropic behavior, and fully anisotropic elastic materials require 21 parameters to specify their elastic behavior. Certain materials, like rubber, are elastic, but their stress-strain relationship is not linear. These materials are said to be hyperelastic, and material models, or constitutive laws, for these materials are required to describe their behavior. Metals above their yield strength deform plastically, which means that their deformation is permanent and cannot be recovered. Elastoplastic constitutive laws deal with this behavior. There are also materials, like polymers, which exhibit a history in their stress-strain relationship. They are said to be both elastic and viscous, and various viscoelastic material models are available to describe such materials. The deformation of some structures is small locally, but due to their geometry, a much larger deformation takes place globally. This situation requires a special formulation of the governing equations and is commonly referred to as large deformation. Often you can approximate how a structure interacts with its surroundings by applying boundary conditions, known as loads and constraints. However, there are cases when this interaction due to deformation is unknown. Theories within the field of contact modeling allow you to study the different forces that act between objects when they come into contact. 
Most structural mechanics models deal with bodies in equilibrium. Such analyses are called static. Dynamic analysis, where loads vary with time, encompass the analysis of modal or natural frequencies, frequency response, and transient response. At longer time scales, many structural components fail after repeated loading and unloading, despite the magnitude of these loads occurring well below the ultimate strength of the material. This phenomenon is called fatigue, and by applying methods of fatigue analysis, you can determine the likelihood of failure of such structures. In many cases, structural deformation is caused by physics that result from other natural phenomena, such as electromagnetism, heat transfer, or fluid mechanics. Another common situation is when the stress level or deformation of a body influences these other phenomena. To accurately model these situations, the laws that govern the different fields of physics need to be combined and solved together. This defines a multi-physics model. This CD will show you many of the tools and theories of structural mechanics through building and investigating a number of different models. You will see the ease with which simulating structural mechanics can be performed and the features in ComSol's structural mechanics module that allow you to do this.